Hi everyone, welcome back, <laughs> or welcome if you're new here. Today we're going to go through some self division specialization exam questions. I'm going to show you how to think, approach, and answer the questions to maximize the amount of marks you get. So let's begin. Question number 25, part I, is one that I want you to really, really pay attention to. Because surface level, when you're reading it, you're like, oh, it's fine, like, I know what to say. Maybe that's something for you guys, I don't know. But um, the purpose of this video is to essentially allow you to think um, differently, okay? We're talking about interphase here. We're talking about the cell cycle. Now, when you read more into the question, right, it says the stage in which a cell produces the least fluorescence. Okay, well, what is fluorescence? Like, what is it referring to? So I'm going to read the information. It's a degree of flu fluorescence um, is dependent on the amount of DNA present, okay? That's the fact. But then now you're thinking, well, okay, so there's the amount of DNA present. So let me remember the cell cycle. Let me um, match up where I think uh, the stages are. So with this question right here, Yes, you're going to be doing that, as I said um, a second ago. But you have to think more linearly. Um, you need to bring together all the information you know of this topic, or subtopic, really, cell cycle, and then be able to write the stage. And I'm saying this because I've spoken to many of my friends who did this question last year, and they struggled with it. And that's because it's it's a bit different from an explain or outline or describe question, right? It's a bit more application-y. So anyway, so let's begin. <laughs> so the stage in which a cell produces the least fluorescence. Well, what's another way of saying that? It's the stage in which the cell produces the least amount of DNA. <laughs> and so where is it? Luckily for you, I put the photo, <laughs> the image of the cell cycle, so we can refer to it together. So where there'll be the least DNA is, I would say, very obviously G1, because that is before S phase, which is DNA replication. And so naturally, this would have the um, least amount of DNA, right? Next one says the stage in which a cell produces the most fluorescence. What's another way of saying it? The stage in which um, a cell produces the most DNA. Okay, so where is it? It can't be G1, because that's before S phase. If it already had lots of DNA, why do we need S phase? Okay, so there could be two answers, honestly. It could be S phase or it can be G2, because S phase, obviously, DNA replication, and G2, well, it happens after the stage, and so the DNA is not going to run away to Paris. Like, it's still going to be there, so G2 will also have the most fluorescence. So you can see G2 or S phase. It looks like a 5, but you get the point. Um, okay, next one. Ah, oh, this one. The stage in which the highest number of cells is recorded. This one trips up so many people. Pay attention, guys. The highest number of cells, not TNA, cells. We are not talking about fluorescence, okay? read it properly people typically say g2 easy they write it down move on hold up <laughs> take a step back it is not g2 and let me explain as i said we're not talking about dna if it was dna we would have said that answer but because it's talking about cells it would actually be g1 it's because the most amount of growth for cells occurs there so Think about it in this way, okay? G1, we're talking about cells, like cells on steroids. And then here, we're talking about DNA on steroids. I don't know. <laughs> a, a way you can <laughs> imagine it, perhaps. But, um, yeah. So, as you can see... Oh, I was about to put G2. No, no. G1. Um, as you can see here, you know, it requires you to think about the cell cycle a bit more, you know? It makes you really question your knowledge about it. And that's why I always say you need to memorise the content very well. 
Memorize, but I actually want you to understand it before you memorize. Because the thing is, when you get questions that are in the application form, like this one, in the real A level, you can't rely on the memorization that you did because you wouldn't understand how to apply it, like the knowledge you know. So that's why I say understanding comes before um, memorization. And I, I bet your biology teachers at school tell you that. <laughs> but yeah. So it's a bit of a short video, I think. Um, but I just wanted you to see this question because it's a bit different. Anywho, that's the end of today's episode. Remember, the two most important exam techniques are read the question first and state all the obvious points. Over to you. Try some questions and let me know how it goes.